Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on mensuration. The 10 circles in the diagram each have radius 1 cm. So we can see that there are 10 circles arranged in a particular pattern and each circle is having a radius of 1 cm. The center of each circle is marked with a dot. Calculate the height of the triangle PQR. We have to calculate the height of this triangle PQR that is given from point P till the base QR. Now to find the height we can make a right angled triangle over here this way and let us give the name as for this point S. So let me draw it out separately over here and give the points as P, S and R. Now since we have to find out the height let us take P S as H and here this is a hypotenuse of a right angled triangle. We can see that P S R is a right angled triangle. So here to find out the hypotenuse they have said that the radius of each circle is 1 cm. That means from point P till this point we have 1 cm. Now from here till this point we have 1 from this point till this point we have the radius 1 and it goes on. So each radius we will be taking as 1 cm. So the total if we see we are going to have 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 4, 5, 6. So the total hypotenuse we got it as 6. So let us mark it out here as 6. Now the same thing applies for the base SR. So from point S till the center of the circle we have 1 cm. Same thing goes over here because it's the radius 1 cm and 1 cm from this point till point R. So the total base becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3. So let us mark it out here 3. Now using the Pythagoras theorem we can write it as the hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of the square of the legs on the right angled triangle. So it becomes h square plus 3 square. So rearranging this h square is equal to 6 square minus 3 square. So h is equal to square root of 6 square is 36 minus 9. So that gives us 5.196 or we can round it as 5.2 cm. So this is the height of the given triangle. Now let us look at part B of this question. Mr. Patel uses whiteboard pens that are cylinders of radius 1 cm. The diagram shows 10 pens stabbed in a tree. So these are the 10 pens which are cylindrical in shape and they have been stacked as a triangle. The tree is 8 cm wide. The point A is the highest point in the stack. Find the height of A above the base BC of the tree. So here again we need to find out the height or the distance of point A from the base BC. Now if we look at this diagram this diagram is same as the previous diagram which was given in part A. The only difference is here they have given that the highest point is A over here and the base is given as BC which is over here. So this is given as BC. So basically we have to find out the height from point A to BC. Now in part A we had found out the height of the given triangle which was found out to be 5.2 cm. Now for this 5.2 we need to just add plus 1 because here we can see from point P till point A this is the radius of the circle which was 1 cm. So we add just 1 and from this point till this point Again you can see the center of the circles will align with this point. So again if 
the radius of the circle is 1 then this part is also 1 so again we are going to add this portion to the height plus 1 so the total height from point A till BC is going to be 7.2 centimeters that's it this is how we find out the height of point A from the base BC now let us look at part B2 of this question Mr. Patil uses whiteboard pens that are cylinders of radius 1 cm the diagram shows a box that holds one pen so we can see there is a box and it is holding a pen the box is a prism of length 12 cm so this box is actually a triangular prism because we can see that its cross sectional area is triangular in shape so it is a prism which is having a length of 12 cm the cross section of the prism is an equilateral triangle so we can see that the triangle formed here is given as equilateral triangle which means all the angles of the triangle are going to be 60 degrees the pen touches each of the three rectangular faces of the box so we can see that the pen is touching each side of the rectangle so we can just draw it and show it as it's touching over here it touches over here and it also touches over here so it touches at three points now calculate the volume of this box now since this is a triangular prism the volume of the box is given as 1 over 2 times base so we will consider this part of the triangle as base times height so this is going to give us the height times the length so we will take 12 cm as the length of the triangular prism now in the given diagram we have only the length we see that the base and the height is not given so we need to find out that first so to begin with let us consider the cross-sectional area of the triangle here I have magnified the cross-sectional area so let me mark out the radius of the circle so this is the radius and this is the radius and here is the radius so these all are 1 cm as given in the question now let us try to mark few triangles over here so we can draw lines connecting to this point that is the vertices of the triangle and let us connect it to this vertex and let us connect it to this vertex so I'll be giving the names to the vertices of the triangle as A, B and C and here I'll be giving the names as P, Q and R and at the center we will take it as O now AB is acting as a tangent to the radius OP so we can take it as 90 degrees as well as OQ is a radius and BC is a tangent so here also we can take it as 90 degrees and same thing repeats for point R now let us find out what is the center angle for each triangle constructed over here so since at the center of the circle we have 360 degrees the center is divided into 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 parts so we have 360 degrees over 6 is equal to 60 degrees that means each triangle at the point O is going to be 60 degrees so let me just take this small triangle and draw it separately this is 90 degree this is going to be 60 degrees and this by using angle sum property of the triangle is going to end up as 30 degrees so let me give the names O P P now we are trying to find out the base of the given triangle to find out the base we are considering only this part of the triangle first so let us consider P B and give the name as X here we have to use some trigonometric ratios to find out PB now OP is the radius of the circle so it was given as 1 let us take it as 1 and to find PB we can use the trigonometric ratio tan of 60 degrees 
so we are considering the 60 degrees and tan is given as opposite over adjacent side so for the 60 degrees x becomes the opposite side and 1 becomes the adjacent side so here we write the opposite as x and adjacent as we have it here 1 so tan 60 is equal to x so let us find out what is tan 60 so we have tan of 60 degrees given as root 3 so let us write it here as x is equal to root 3 so we got the part of the base as root 3 and since all the triangles are same the base AP also becomes root 3 so the total base is root 3 plus root 3 which gives us 2 root 3 and since it is an equilateral triangle all these sides are going to be same so this also becomes 2 root 3 AC and BC also becomes 2 root 3 so now we have got the base of the triangular prism so let us write base is 2 root 3 now to find out the height let us just take the part CPB so here we have C then we have P then we have B and this was 90 degree and since we had seen that the base was an equilateral triangle that means each angle is going to be 60 degrees so angle B is going to be 60 degrees over here and here using the angle sum property we have this remaining angle as angle 30 now we had found the base PB as root 3 and we need to find out the height which is PC over here to find out the height over here we are going to use the trigonometric ratio tan of angle 60 degrees because we know that tan is given as opposite over adjacent and if we consider the 60 degrees opposite to 60 degrees is the height and PB is going to be the adjacent side because BC is going to be the hypotenuse so here we have the opposite side as the height H over the adjacent side we have it as root 3 so rearranging we get it as height is equal to root 3 times tan 60 so let's see how much we get over here so we have root 3 times tan 60 degrees it gives us 3 so we have the height as 3 so now we will find out the volume of the triangular prism which was given as 1 over 2 times it was base times height times length so base we got it as 2 root 3 and height we got it as 3 and length was given as 12 so we have here 2 and 2 cancels so we have 3 times 12 times root 3 so let's check out how much we get so 3 times 12 times root 3 gives us 36 root 3 or in the decimal form 62.35 so we write here the volume as 62.35 centimeter cube or we can round it as 62.4 centimeter cube this is how we find the volume of the triangular prism hope you have understood all the steps and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching